Hello everyone, it's Dermot River Ben Survival again. Uh, I'm going to start a new series of videos and I hope it goes on for 20 years. Uh, I think, tentatively, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to call this series of videos Penny's Way. Um, for those of you that don't follow me on Facebook, uh, my wife got me a new dog, or a dog, I didn't have one, got me a new dog. Uh, she's a rescue dog. My, do my oldest daughter and her fiance found this dog under a truck during the winter. It was cold and rainy. It was just a little puff about four months ago. They've got too many dogs. So they asked if we wanted it. My wife said yes, that I wanted her uh, to go hiking with. Uh, she's my new hiking buddy. She's not very well, very well. Uh, she's not trained on the leash too great yet, but she's getting ideas. She's staying on the left. She's starting to, to do her thing. Um, I'll readjust the camera down here because she's kind of short uh, and introduce you here uh, right after the opening credits. Okay, everyone, this is Penny. Uh, Penny is in nickel dime quarter Penny. Uh, She's obviously part lab and part something else. We, we have no idea what she is. Nobody does. Uh, she's about five months old, four or five months old from the best we can guess. And I guess my daughter took her to the uh, vet after they rescued her. Uh, she's very shy, uh, very curious. Uh, when people go walking past us on the path, she stops and stares at them until they're out of sight. She wants to know what they're doing, where they're going. Joggers scare her to death. Somebody just went jogging past us and she she freaked out. Uh, she's not what you would call an aggressive guard dog, but that wasn't what I was after. Um, I think she's going to work out just fine. Uh, she's ours no matter what, but I think she's going to work out as a hiking buddy just fine. Uh, I do have to work on some things. Uh, I'm going to show this new haversack that I have been working on. Uh, once again, people on Facebook have seen what's been going on with it. Um, and I did that, that Haversack Part 2 video was about this. Well, it's, it's gone through some testing and stuff now. Um, but I'm going to have to, to work on some things. I'm going to get a hold of some of my friends, uh, especially from the meetup that have dogs that go hiking with them. I have some questions about some gear. Uh, but I'll get in touch with them individually. Uh, they, they've already been down that road. There's no reason for me to try to reinvent the wheel when they already know what works and what doesn't. Let me get the camera reset. I'll go over this uh, contents as haversack real quick. Uh, I just want everybody to meet Penny so that everybody understood why these videos where I go hiking with Penny are called Penny's Way. Uh, let me get reset and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I've got the camera reset. Penny's got some water back there. She's happy. Uh, I am a little concerned about the heat down here. Not a little. I'm a lot concerned. Um, as I say over and over and over like a broken record, it just gets hot down here, you know, 100 degrees constantly, 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 super high humidity. With her having a black coat, of course, she's going to soak in the heat. We went on a hike yesterday, me and my wife and my daughter, we did not take her because a lot of the trails are a uh, asphalt and it just gets too hot on her paws. So I have to be real conscious all the time of, of keeping her where it's shadier and she's not going to hurt or burn her paws and stuff during the summer. It's going to be a real slow evolution with her. I'm in no rush. I'm too old to be in a rush, so we'll we'll work on her. We'll get her going longer distances. I'm going to keep them short for a while. Um, got a harness for her. Not so much that she needs a harness. She doesn't pull against the leash, really. Uh, but I want her to get used to having something around her chest because I want to get her the pack so she can carry her own water and her bowl and maybe some food or whatever. Uh, but that's all down the road. i got to work towards that. She's got to get older and stronger and bigger. Um, because just like I say to everybody out there, if you're not having fun, why are you doing this? If it's not fun for her, she's not going to want to go on the hikes. So let's get to the other part of this video. This is the haversack that I, I did in part two of the haversack videos. Um, I took it out yesterday for the first time. Did fantastic, comfortable to wear, uh, no complaints about it at all, except for one minor one, and that happened today actually. Uh, the strap is just a little bit too narrow. Uh, and the reason it's too narrow is because I'm carrying more water. Uh, I'm carrying a full Nalgene bottle now. 
because summer's on. Uh, when I wore this around in the house, in the yard, whatever, with the loadout with no water in the bottle, it was fine, but adding that that four pounds of weight to it, um, it makes it where it pulls in just a little bit. That'll be a simple fix. I'm just going to make a leather uh, shoulder pad to go under it to distribute the weight a little bit, or maybe find something on some old luggage. I don't know, but that's an easy fix. Um, let me go over real quick what I carry in it. Of course, it's different today because I have Penny, but that's the point of this bag is, is when I take Penny out. Um, I need to get a collapsible bowl. I don't know if it's showing up in the video, but right there is a blue plastic bowl that I brought out for her so she could have water. This ring on the outside that I showed in the video I found is a perfect place to keep the keys if you don't mind them rattling. Uh, two things, I don't mind them rattling. The first reason being is because I know my keys are still there. The second reason is, is Penny has already started looking for that. If I stop walking and she doesn't hear that rattle, she looks to hear that, that, that ching, ching, ching as I'm going along. So that works out pretty good. Okay, the contents of the bag are not a whole lot different than any other haversack that I carry. There are a few items in here that I have in this bag that I don't have in any other one obviously a bowl for water and I'm going to get a collapsible one. Um, I have my Nalgene bottle with the Gorilla Tape in different sizes on it. I have my cup and I actually think this one is an Ascend. I just got it. I did not pay attention that it was an Ascend instead of a GSI. I don't know about these welds on this bracket right here. Oh, let me get her loose here real quick. She's starting to pull. Wanna walk around some? She wants to go out in the dirt, so I'm gonna let her walk out there a little bit. Um, I don't know about these welds on this. Uh, they could hold up for 20 years. I don't know, I haven't ever tried the Sin brand, but they don't look that great, but they could be fine. Anyway, that's my cup, cook set, whatever you wanna call it. For this kit, I've got a pair of mechanics gloves. I've got my uh, bathroom kit. No, leave it alone. I've got my bathroom kit uh, toilet paper, wet wipes, little shovel, that stuff. I've got a spool of line. Uh, I just found these again on sale. Well, I've always had them, but I just found them on, uh, uh, on sale. Academy's not going to carry them anymore. So I could get two rolls of 130 pound test, 150 feet long for under $2. I think it was under $1.50. Anyway, I could buy five of these for what it costs to buy one package before. So I bought every one of them in the valley that I could find. I went to all seven academies and bought up all of it I could see. Uh, I, I just like this stuff. Uh, that's it for the big main compartment inside here besides the, the bowl. Uh, for the bucket part. There are little pockets on the side right here. Uh, I have a Mora knife on here. Uh, extra battery for camera. <laughs> Nothing in there. Actually, I can just put that back. Let's just put the stuff back as I take it out. I have a fire steel that I got from Buddy Bingham at the meetup. It just slips down in its own pocket that holds it perfect. I've got a small Altoids first aid tin. The, the crosses are probably not showing up, but it, it's there. I've got a disposable rain poncho, but I don't throw them away. I just fold them up and reuse them. I've got a fire kit, an Altoid 10's fire kit. We've gone over these fire kits and first aid kits that I carry in these Altoids way too many times to go through it now. Uh, one new change is I have this the new um, Browning Micro Blast Light. Uh, I haven't tried it. You know, obviously it's new to me. It is extremely bright. I mean, I'm in full daylight right here. It's extremely bright. The packaging, for whatever it's worth, says that one battery will run this thing for an hour and a half constantly. Uh, and that's perfectly acceptable for a day hike bag, but I have three more batteries. Uh, I, I can run it plenty. 
the reason I got it is is it's so small you saw it's only that long it gives a good beam out to about 40 yards I'm sorry out to about 40 feet it gives a good beam out that way um, but the way they put the clip on it she's laying down now oh you can see her the way they put the clip on it I can clip it onto my hat too uh, me and Bob Knight were talking the other day and we both agreed on day hikes uh, and, and pretty much on camping, we seldom use headlamps. We understand the benefits of a headlamp, but I just don't use them. Uh, I always carry them. You've seen them in all my packs. And I have a, a bazillion of them. But for this pack, because it's a day hike pack, it's for taking the dog out on walks on the weekends. Uh, I just went with a small one. It'd have to be a flat out emergency for me to even need it. I've contemplated taking the battery out of it and putting it in with other batteries just so it doesn't corrode because I know I'm never going to use it. Anyway, it's a new item. I'll let y'all know how it works out for riding in a bag. Uh, in the last pocket, I have a bandana and 52 55 gallon drum liners in a Ziploc bag sealed up. Um, of course, that's shelter. That's, that can be a lot of things. Um, no, no. Let's let's talk about let's talk about the bandana real quick before I before I let y'all go. Yesterday we went on a hike. My wife took a face plant, busted her face wide open. I mean, flat out, bounced off the concrete or the dirt, busted her lip open. She's bruised up this morning. Her teeth, she said, were hurting and feeling kind of loose yesterday. They feel better today. Um, nobody freaked out. Because we had our haversacks. We were freaked out because my wife fell and hit her face on the concrete or on the dirt and got scratched up and beat up. But um, we had the first aid supplies that we needed for a, for a minor thing like that. The number one item we used, well, there was only two items that we used water and a bandana. Uh, the, her lip was busted inside. You can't do anything to that. Uh, got her hands clean. Um, Oh no, she's twisted up here. Got her hands clean, uh, rinsed off of water, got the bandana damp, uh, cleaned everything up. Uh, I put a picture up of her with her, the blood running down her face, and then the next picture is five minutes later. Uh, and she continued the hike. Uh, we went we went another mile and a half, no complaining, no, I mean, she wasn't happy that she fell, but if you have the stuff to deal with it, it's not as nearly as big a deal. So, the reason I mention that is, bandana. Always carry a bandana. There's no excuse. They're 80 cents. Put a friggin' cotton bandana in every pack you own. If you want to, carry another one in your pocket. Uh, they just make so much sense. Uh, it, it's, it's not often that I, I get this opinionated about things. I'm an opinionated guy, but it's not this often that I get this opinionated about something. But it, it hit home close again yesterday uh, with, with my wife. Uh, and it, it amazes me. As we were hiking, we came across some other people that were hiking in there. Uh, one was a young couple. They were wearing spandex or yoga pants or whatever that crap's called. Uh, and black, it was black all the way down to their ankles. And some black stretchy Under Armour thing on top. And all they were carrying with them was a little plastic bottle of water they bought at the convenience store. They had nothing else on them. And I thought to myself, if one of them bites it back there, how are they going to administer the immediate first aid? They're not. How hard is it to put a little bag together, even if it's a, even if it's a fanny pack or something, to take with them? How long is a little bottle of water going to last? Because we used half of my water, which is two of those bottles, we used half of my water cleaning her up, rinsing her mouth out, getting her wound taken care of and cleaned up. That was half my water gone right there. Um, there's just some common sense, you know. All these people that uh, I'm mocking birds over here, all of the, all these people that 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 uh, just take off because they want to go out and, and they have nothing with them. I, I understand it, I do, uh, but by the same token, it just doesn't make any sense. I've gone off I've gone off subject because of something that was recent to me. Um, anyway. The bag's working out great. I've got to get some additional things for Penny. I want to introduce you all to Penny. Um, and I want to show you all the bag now that it's loaded out. It'll probably stay pretty close to this. I don't 
don't foresee hardly any changes to the bag. It's, it's pretty simple, basic stuff. Anyway, till next time, get out in the dirt, have some fun. Thanks.